Hmm. What in the world is it? Adis? Adis. Yeah, that's it. Adis. I got it. It's Idis. Idis, right? Idis. It's Idis. It's got to be Idis. Right? It's got to be Idis. Yeah, it's Idis. Okay. It's a Tyus. It's a Tyus. It's got to be a Tyus. <laughs> No, Daddy's supposed to be E T I A S. The the. Hey, folks. I give up. I'm just gonna call it the Atus. How's that? That's gonna be the Darren. That's the Darren. We're how to way how to say it because people are saying Itis, Atus, and all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna call it Itis because I want my personal touch. I want the Itis touch. Ha ha ha! Only a few will get that. Anyways, what it is? Itis is a is a visa waiver uh, for Europe. And let me tell you a little bit about that. All right, first of all, the IDA stands for European Travel Information and Authorization With all that terrorist stuff going on, uh, it's not going on right now at this single moment, but uh, it's gone on in the past. We had some um, terrorist incidents, not only in Europe, but all over the world, including the United States. Um, they decided to get a little bit stricter on who comes into the country. I don't blame them because, you know, we have laws, you know, when other folks come to America, yeah, I want to vet it. I want to, I want to know who, who's coming in here. I, you know, I don't want to be around a terrorist. You know what I mean? So in an effort, you know, to keep their country, you know, safe, the whole Schengen area safe, okay, they enacted uh, this waiver, okay? Now, for this is for American citizens here. Uh, before, all we needed was a passport, just a regular passport, okay, and maybe a driver's license for a second ID. But you, you, you just take your take your passport, boom, you show your stuff, you're done, right? Oh, don't get your boarding pass. Got to have your boarding pass. Okay. But again, they want more now to to be safe, and I don't I don't blame them. One, I don't blame them one, one bit for that. Hey, okay. so I don't mind doing this extra step, you know, to to be safe, and of course for them to feel uh, safe. And this whole waiver thing, okay, the ATIS, it's the ATIS, okay. Um, it, it's needed to go in any any parts of the Schengen zone, okay? And Germany's one of them. And um, I'll go over the list of the, of the countries who, uh, who are in this zone uh, in just a few moments. And by the way, again, before I forget, they, I did mention earlier, but I'll mention it again, they're gonna start enacting this uh, January 1st of uh, 2021, but by the end of 2022, it's gonna be in full act. It's gonna be on board. Okay, so keep that. Definitely keep that. Also, you want to keep in mind, uh, this waiver, this visa waiver, is for short-term stays, up to 90 days. Uh, no more than 90 days, okay? Um, then you have to get into other stuff, visas and, and, and everything, which I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'm just talking about the ATIS. <laughs> ITIS, the ITIS test. Note, you will need this to go travel to the country that you're going to, say Germany, for, for, for instance, or any other country in the Schengen area, you, you're, you're going to be expected to have this paperwork along with your USA uh, passport. So don't, don't forget that either. Right now, there are 60 countries, 59 other countries besides the uh, United States of America, that will be required to, to have this document in order to, to travel there. But please keep this in mind too. Okay, this is only valid. The ITIS will only be valid for short-term stays, uh, 90 days um, or less. All right, folks, here it goes. I have a list here of all the uh, ITIS countries, and here it goes. Get ready to pay attention. Okay, it's Austria, Belgium, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Germany, France, Spain, Portugal, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Lithuania, Latvia, San Marino, Estonia, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Slovenia, Italy, Greece, Czech Republic, um, Malta, Monaco, Liechtenstein, Iceland, Norway, Switzerland, Vatican City, and Andorra. So, if you go, if you're heading to any of those countries, you are going to need the Itis Touch. You're going to need the Itis Visa Waiver. That's what it's called. I do want to repeat. I felt I need to repeat this about the, you know, the, the 90 days. This waiver is only good for 90 days. But if you're, but if you want to live there, if you want to study there. Or if you want to remain in Europe uh, longer than 90 days, then you would have to go apply for a visa, use that at a consulate or embassy. Um, for whatever your situation, whatever situation you're in, um, that, that's what you, you need to apply for.
Well, I bet you're saying, well, Darren, how in the world do I get this Itis Touch? I'm going to mess up. <laughs> I call it Itis Touch, okay? So don't go there asking for an Itis Touch because they'll look at you like you have five minutes. But uh, I'm going to tell you how to apply for it. Okay. Well, first of all, you do this totally online, okay? It's at the E-T-I-A-S visa.com. You do it totally online, which is totally cool with me because uh, I don't like paper. It makes a mess. So I like to go totally, totally um, online. But you can do it there. It will give you all the requirements that you need. Now, again, you're going to need this, this uh, visa waiver to go in one or more countries of the Schengen Zone. That's a definite. All right, so make sure that you have your passport. This is one of the documents, one of the documents that you're going to need uh, in order to apply for this uh, visa waiver, okay? You're going to need an email address. Does everybody have an email address? Okay, you're going to need a debit card or a credit card. So either one uh, will be... Uh, will... Now, yes, it comes with a fee. Uh, what I understand is seven euros uh, for adults. And uh, at this point, children, um, there's no fee at all. So adults need to pay, uh, I believe right now, seven euros, but it could change. And by the way, always keep up to date on, on, on this stuff. Okay, this is, this is uh, Darren talking here, and I'm getting my information uh, straight from the site, re reading it and, and studying it myself. Uh, but always, always go to the uh, itisvisa.com, E-I, or excuse me, E-T-I-S-A, visa.com to get all your updated uh, information. Now when applying for this itis, okay, uh, what I understand is very easy. Of course, I haven't, I haven't done it yet. They're telling you to, at one time they said uh, three months prior to your uh, arrival, but now they, they did an addendum and uh, now uh, you gotta apply up to six months. Uh, so look into that, make sure you look into that. Um, but this is gonna take, it takes about 10 minutes. So no more than 10 minutes. And once you're approved by them, it's good for a total of uh, three years. Now, I will give you a little hint here what they're gonna ask you here. Uh, they're gonna ask for your full name, uh, your, your date of birth, your place of birth, uh, your current address, where you're living, um, if your children are here, your parents' information, uh, of course, your passport and all that stuff. Um, and they are gonna ask you on the form, on the form online, uh, have you ever been arrested? Uh, have you ever do any drugs? Uh, any human trafficking? Um, have you ever been to any terrorist countries or conflict air areas? Um, then we could ask about your employment history. They ask about you, your past visits to Europe or, or um, anywhere in the Schengen uh, area. Uh, and they could ask for you know security information there, um, criminal history. They they're, they're gonna check everything. And uh, again, hey, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. You know, I, I've seen people at TSA, you know, they get upset at the TSA people, okay? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a pain to go through there. It, it is, okay? But you know what? I don't mind. <laughs> I've seen people just lose their yes. ah, I don't want to do this. Man, I'd rather you check toenails in between toes everywhere and make sure that I'm getting on a safe plane. I don't want to get on a plane that's going to blow up, okay? So, hey, check me. Boom, here I am. That's how it goes. Now, there is a stern warning out there, okay? Make sure that you put all correct and true and accurate information on this application um, because there is a mighty hefty, not only fine, but jail time to pay if they catch you um, falsely uh, putting uh, any false information on there. And what they're saying now is it's gonna take them about 90 days to uh, complete the application. Uh, if they uh, if they get the application and they don't approve it, they will contact you to get more information. So be prepared for that. Uh, so don't get upset if they say, hey, I need a, a document, just do it. Okay, because I wanna be safe, they wanna be safe. Let's all be safe, what do you say? So anyways, this has been on my mind. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I'm gonna do another one later. This is just my, my trial. Uh, I'm going to have uh, probably more information uh, later Later on. I'm, I'm, I'm talking probably six months down the road. Uh, I don't know. I don't know when. I don't, I don't want to give you a time limit. I don't know. Uh, somewhere, I'm going to do a more in-depth one. But this is just, just my little trial one. But uh, anyways, hey, be safe out there. Be kind to everybody. Be nice to everybody. Don't you want people to be nice to you? Be nice to them. Okay? It's very simple. 
Don't get mad at TSA. Don't get mad at these Idis people. Okay, who, who wants to make sure that make sure that they are, are safe in their own country? Okay, just go with the flow. Go with the flow, and everything will be all right. And eat spaghetti ice. Okay, so bye bye from the Germany Travel slash Personal Guys Studios here, and in, it's in progress. I'm working on it, and um, I will see you on the next round. So until then, Dr. Shun, shoes. Talk us on shoes and see you later. Ha! Go Gators.